Days after Hurricane Milton, people are now dealing with rising flood waters in Sumter County. Leaders are extending the state of emergency. Communities are seeing flooding all along the Withlacoochee River. Leaders are also keeping an eye on areas around Lake Penasofke. News 6's Emily McLeod tells us how people are coping with the increased flood risk there. Flooding continues to be a concern here in Sumter County for those living along the Withlacoochee River. We're here on the Sumter County side of Nobleton where water has continued to creep up into people's backyards and in some cases their front yards. However, Sumter County officials also tell us they're keeping a close eye on the Lake Panasofki area, specifically near the Outlet River that feeds into the Withlacoochee. So John, the water's a little bit higher here on the Outlet River, um, but you're feeling optimistic about potential flooding. Yes, very much so. We got a little bit of flow in the in the Canal River right now, and as long as that continues, hopefully the water won't rise as quickly and and flood us out. John Little lives near Lake Panasofki, one of the areas Sumter County officials are closely watching after the amount of rain Hurricane Milton brought to the area. You know, we just play it day by day. You know, maybe even it might even get to the point of hour by hour. Um, but. It is what it is. You can't beat Mother Nature. South of Lake Panasofki, waters continue to rise along the Withlacoochee River in areas like Croom and Nobleton. What was the reaction when you pulled up today and you saw the water in the backyard? I and was shocked. Tamara Daniels' mom lives in Nobleton. She says her mom plans to stay. She has been here for quite a while in Nobleton. I come from the city, so of course I'm not used to that kind of flooding, but mm -hmm. she says she's fine. Um, she's going to wait it out, just make sure it doesn't you know, get worse than what it is now, and we'll just ride it out and see how it goes. But so far, of course, I would be a little concerned. Robert Burt lives next door and was prepping his home with sandbags. This is about as bad as it ever got before. Mm -hmm. It might get a little worse, but I'm not, not real concerned. That's why I'm bagging it up. Now, not long ago, I spoke to Sumter County Emergency Management Director David Casto on the phone, and he tells me the currents in the floodwaters over in the Croom area, they started to pick up. So he says this serves as a reminder for people that these situations can be pretty dangerous for everybody involved. He's urging people who don't feel safe in their homes along the river to find somewhere else to stay. Remember, the county has opened a shelter at the Sumter County Fairgrounds, and it is pet friendly. For now, reporting in Sumter County, I'm Emily McLeod, getting results News 6. Emily, thank you. Several communities are dealing with rising waters almost a week after Milton, and we posted all of the details of where to get sandbags to protect your house in this story at clickorlando.com.